Hello everyone and welcome back to our third lesson in this video series on our favorite Black Knight of Opening. So today we will see a game I played eight years ago in the final of the Israeli Championship against a very young and talented player with the name of Saar Drury. So you know, I trust you that if I wake up in the middle of the night you will know how this opening starts in Nidov. So let's see you. So the beginning of the opening is e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6 is attacking this pawn on e4 and now knight c3 and a6. This is the Nidov. So as we saw in the first two videos, we saw that white played the move bishop to e2. And now I will show you a very interesting line that played by Sar. he played the move h3. Now black has two options in general. One of these is to play the move e5, and after e5 also white has several options. For, for example, knight de2 is the, the most common one, and now we are playing the move h5. Very strong because we don't want to allow g4. And now there are so many lines, bishop g5, bishop, bishop e7, g3, around b5, bishop b7, knight bd7, or maybe bishop e6, knight bd7, rook c8. So a lot of things here, I or, or already had several games here with the black pieces. So it's fine. And of course after e5, also knight b3 makes a lot of sense. Also w was playing uh, by very, you know, very good players with white pieces here. Also knight f3 can be possible with some idea in the in the next future to play bishop e2, knight h2, knight g4 and to replace this knight to bring this knight to d5, the most important square uh, for white in this Sicilian knight of opening. So I played after h3 the move e6 and now it's starting to be very very you know uh, uh, aggressively. g4, knight f d7. Black wants to push the knight from g5, you know, from the threat of g5, and starting to play very fast, you know, this is a race, this is a race, not race kings, but you know, race to attack, who will be the first one to attack and achieve maybe a win against uh, the opponent's king, so white wants to, to attack in the king's side with g5, f4, h4, h5, g6, right, and black wants to uh, try to attack with b5, bishop b7, knight c6, rook c8, b4, maybe queen c7, maybe with the knight somewhere like this. So it's very, very complicated, and let's see how it goes. So g5, b5, and now a3. You know, a3 is a very strong move. Why just, you know, like uh, uh, doing a, a, a prophylactic move, of course, to avoid from b4, because if black will achieve b4, this pawn on e4 will be weak, I will play some, something around bishop b7, knight c5, and attack this pawn on e4. So, he played the move a3, I uh, played, of course, bishop b7, h4, bishop e7, I think also knight b6 was an uh, interesting move to play, maybe knight 8 to d7, rook c8, knight e5, and knight c4, something around this, because white probably will play the move bishop, d2, bishop e3 and queen d2 and castle, so we would like to bring the two knights to c4 square. I play the move bishop e7, now bishop e3, knight c6, um, queen d2, now I think after knight um, b6 there is maybe an option to take on e6, f takes, and queen d4. It's amazing that already 13 moves uh, during the game and just, you know, crazy positions with queen b6 threat, queen g7 threat, the rook, the king, so much troubles here, bishop e2, bishop h5 maybe, I don't know, it seems like white is, is really doing great here, so I played the move knight to c6. He played the move queen to d2, and now I played rook c8. I'm, I'm bringing, you know, all the pieces as soon as I can, right? Um, just to play faster and not to castle, because if I'm castling, you know, white will push f4, h5, g6, and I must do something about it. So I really want to be flexible. I don't want to show that I will castle. Knight c6, this is first, 
I think very uh, important move by my opponent. Also, ca long castle makes a lot of sense. But knight c6, the point is that he don't want me to play the move knight c to e5 with knight b6 and to come to c4, right? So this is just, you know, to take this knight off rook takes c6, this very important move. I think it's an interesting choice. Uh, that I made because I understand that I don't have time. I really need somehow to, to push on this file, on the C file, as we already learned that the C file is very important in the Sicilian Knight of uh, opening. So Rook takes E6, just, you know, like to develop another Rook, maybe to bring uh, the next pieces into the C file. So we play the move Castle, I Castle also, and now he played the move Bishop D4. Maybe it was not the best for him. I think also F4 makes a lot of sense. Also H5, just push the pawns, H5, G6, because it's a race. He must do it fast as he can. So he played the move Bishop D4, and now he played Knight to E5. I wanted, of course, to play Knight A3 with a, a, around a fork, right? Because if I take these two bishops, I will be fine, and checkmate I will not get as far as I understand. He played the move Queen to E3 with two uh, very strong uh, ideas. One of them is just to take the knight, right? Because there is a pin. Oh, sorry. There is a pin, of course. And the another one is just to play f4, because now knight f3 is, of course, illegal, right? So I played the move queen to c7. And my point was just to bring another piece into the c file and also allow to the next rook will come to c8. But now f4. And in this position, I really hope that you can stop the video now. Think by yourself, what is the move? for black now it's not so easy move to find i think but in general it's very uh, in the way of playing right because we don't have time we must do things fast so i play the move rook to c8 i think it's very very strong move i'm just ignoring absolutely the threat of f takes e5 so for example after f takes e5 d takes c5 bishop a7 is the only move and now a very strong move bishop takes a3 the point is that these just you know double rooks with a queen doing just amazing job in the c file and after b takes a3 rook takes c3 bishop d3 rook takes c2 king b1 now i i i saw during the game a very very strong move that i really like and i thought that maybe i has i i have a great uh, position here in attack, rook c3, very strong move I think, because rook b3 with queen c3 is just terrible for white, and I really like this position because also this bishop on a7 is not just not in the game at all, and the king is not safe, so it looks good for me, I think also computer uh, agree with me. So after rook c8, he didn't take the knight on e5, he played the move king b1, and now, you know what, I will take some water. Okay, I'm coming back. So now, as we understand, now f takes e5, the knight is under attack. And now we, it will not be good to to play some move and uh, just uh, bring the white opportunity to take this knight. So I play the move knight to c4. Bishop takes c4, rook takes c4, and rook h to e1. I think h5 probably should be better, but also e5, it's not so easy here, because the bishop here, I'm not sure, takes, takes, bishop b6, rook takes c3, yeah, complicated, b takes c3, queen c4 maybe, bishop here, bishop here, I'm not sure about this position, but it's, it's really important uh, to, you know, to calculate such variations. So he played the move rook h to e1, and now I play the move b4. As we already talked about, we must find some uh, active variations here. We must do it as fast as we can. This is a race. If when we are um, castling in the king side and our opponent is castling in the queen side, it's, it's just, you know, who will put the checkmate first. So b4 is opening the b file and it seems like I'm doing faster than he is. A takes b4, rook takes b4 and now he played a very interesting move. He played the move e5 because in this position he realized that e5 is already a very, very big threat. For example, h5, e5, f takes, d takes, bishop a7 is the only move and I think already queen takes c3 may, maybe makes sense. Also, I can do something else but, but in such positions, yeah, I, I think maybe just queen c3 
Uh, I'm, I'm just up a, up, up a night, right? So e5 is just understanding what black wants to do and avoid it. So now in this position, I play the move d5. The point was also to, um, you know, to close this bishop on d4 because he wanted to take on d6 with the bishop to g7. So d5 is closing the, the bishop. I agree that also my bishop is a little bit close, but also this bishop is now uh, working. Maybe I will play around queen a5, rook takes b2 with bishops coming into the game. So so it's it really makes sense for me, right? So d5 was played and he's playing the move f5. As you can see, he's playing just very, very fast. He understand the um, the method of this position. He must do, his, uh, do it fast as he can. And now I play the move bishop to c6 and maybe this was a little bit mistake i i felt like i need to bring this bishop to a, a better position because i felt like this bishop is not doing a great job here and also is you know is in this b file maybe i will put rook b here b8 or maybe queen b7 so b, the, so the bishop on b7 is is really annoying me so maybe i will put bishop c8 and also i will uh, bring him to e8 to cover all of this right so he played the move f6, bishop f8, and now f takes g7. And now think about yourself. What is the move that you prefer for black here? It's very, very important to understand this move. So three, two, one, and we got it. So bishop to e7. We don't want to take the g7 pawn because we will uh, allow to black, to right, of course, to open another time, h5, g6, we don't want it. We must avoid from, from taking these pawns on g7. Because if we are taking, we are opening our king. Because in this position, after bishop e7, this pawn on g7 is good for us. He's defending us from his, from his attack, right? So he's playing the move h5, and now I'm playing the move bishop to e8. It seems that my two bishops are doing a really, really great job here. And um, also the bishop is just covering the g6 pawn. So he played the move g6, f takes g6, and um, queen h6 he played. And now I just played the move, very, very important move. I understand one thing that this bishop on d4 is just really, really doing great. He's supporting all this diagonal. He's supporting the king and I just must replace him. So I play the move bishop to c5. And you know, so much things to show to you in this particular game. But if you can, if you want, just comment below your thought about this game and I will talk with you about the variations. But for example, bishop takes c5, queen c5, rook f1 is just losing after rook takes b2. Um, uh, for example, king takes um, uh, b2, just queen c3, king a2, queen takes c2, king a3 like this, this is a checkmate, right? Just checkmate, a forced checkmate. So for example, king c1, just rook c2, and another time, the same thing here. So for example, uh, oh, why I need to do it? Rook b8 also, it just game over immediately, right? So yeah, a lot of checkmates, of course. So it's not working. And now he played the move rook to d3. And just, I'm coming back with the queen to e7. And now I have time to take this g7 pawn because the rook f1 is already a threat, a big, big threat. So queen e7, queen d2, rook c, b8. I want to take this pawn on b2 and also to protect the b4 uh, rook b3 g takes h5 king b2 bishop g6 as you can see the bishop is doing just a crazy crazy job here uh, rook d4 just taking the g7 pawn with the king and this position is totally game over but let's see how it goes because it's really really important to see how uh, this game was finished so queen f5 rook a7 king g8 queen d2 queen takes e5 rook a4 just queen g3 and rook e8 slowly improving the position with h4, queen g3, queen g2 attacking the pawn on c2, rook a7, bishop f5 avoiding from checkmate of course, queen f6, rook f8, queen e5, h3, knight e2, h2, knight d4, unbelievable position. And in this particular position it's just amazing to see that after we are putting queen here just knight takes f5 and this is a really draw. For example, e takes f5, queen e6, king h8, and queen e5, and this is just a draw repetition, right? So I have troubles here. What can I do? What can I do? So 
the only move to win this game. You can stop the video now, think by yourself, how can we win it? So the move is Rook to C8. The only move to win this particular position. After Knight takes F5, just Queen takes C2, King A3, Queen C5 check, King B2, and now Queen F2 check. And after going to the, uh, uh, of course, one row, we will put the Queen and the game is over. And after King A3, we will take this Rook with check, and of course, this Knight, and the game is over, of course, also Queen F2, and after it, to, to take the Knight, of course. So it's also winning, absolutely. So yeah, after Rook C8, he played the move King A3. We are putting the Queen, Knight takes F5, Queen C1 check, King A4, and just Queen G4. We're taking the Knight, uh, I think also taking the Knight and also Queen F1. Yeah, for example, King B5, just Queen F1. Taking with, with this queen, the knight on f5, and the game is over. So after queen g4, my opponent resigned the game, and this was a very important game by me in the final of the Israeli champion. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, just please for me, if you like me, press the like button and also subscribe my channel. It really helped me. So thank you very much, and I really hope that I can maybe achieve here to put like here or here a video, so click it and see it. Bye bye, see you in the fourth lesson of the Night of Opening. Bye bye.